how's it going you guys so this is what I have so far what I did is I darkened the, the whole area using this pencil and this basically all I did was spread more of, the, more of this pencil around in order to bring out the shadows So again from here on like same thing just darkening the shadows in order to in order to bring out the layers because then then we're gonna clump up these uh, these hairs for example we're gonna clump up these ones here these ones here we'll bring out this individual hair here and then we'll darken the the hairs in between and then we'll darken these a bit with a 5H pencil see this pencil is good because it doesn't darken that much So if I go over the clump of hair lightly, it darkens everything evenly. So then again I go in between. So this dark shadow here, it's darker because less light is hitting it. So then from here on I just go around doing that same thing Yeah, let's add a couple more clumps of hairs here. Basically, by doing this, I'm just grouping to get hairs together, individual hairs together. And then I'll darken the the shadows in between the hairs that are apart. See, and then the, lastly in the end I'll highlight these single hairs you see these crisscrossing hairs when we're all done I'm going to highlight those just to bring everything out just to bring out uh, another layer
so if I get really close I'm able to see these these areas much better So from here it's the same thing, just over and over and over, just for the shadows, make the highlights, clump the hair. But the clumps of hair also need to make sense, right? So for example this clump of hair right here. It's thicker in the middle and then in the end it's thinner as it the tips group together. See and there's also this one here. but you can't just make them one in one direction you could have some that combine so we go in again and we darken the shadows around it around them And then we darken it again, but uh, evenly. This area right here, it's gonna be darker because it's gonna be under the hairs, the black hairs that are gonna come out. We're gonna add those at the end. So basically, that's what we're gonna be doing: just taking black hairs and just stretching them out like this. See, they're going to be going out like that. So for that part I use a, a mechanical pencil. It makes it easier, makes the lines. See? But we'll do that, we'll do that in the end. Once everything else is done. That'll be like the last layer. So there's a clump over here, you know, add it, add it to one here, and one here, there's another one here, this one here, it's going to be darker, at least this side, it's going to be darker because it, a shadow is being cast by this, this clump right here. So that's going to be darker. But we'll darken the shadows around the clump, this clump. Again, it comes down to, to understanding what you're drawing. Like the more you understand hair, the easier this will become. You'll be able to pick out the the right hairs, where to put the highlights, where to put the shadows. Because 
could also use a Q-tip just to quickly blend the clumps so they don't stand out too much. Let's fix, let's fix the edge here. So I think we're gonna darken the, the black hairs. And here I'm just separating the black hairs from the from the lighter hairs. Here we're going to darken the, the edges again to bring out the tips of the white hair, the lighter hairs. See, so doing this cleans up the cleans up the edges. So like I said, the good thing about the pencil is you can you can erase. So if you want to add more indentations, you can just tap, like erase this area, remove some of the pencil, and then go in and just add more. More indentations, more hairs. And then you can darken it again. So you blend the ends because this this end is further down. So when it comes up, this part right here is being hit by the light. So that's what. Layer. It's still black hair, but the reflection of the light makes it look like that. We're going to extend the shadows of these. And we're gonna make a. We're gonna bring out the this layer here. I'm gonna do that by clumping these hairs together right here. 